Hello everyone, Stephanie Lee, Evidential Medium here, back for our fourth week doing a book review for Unfinished Business. Okay, let's dive in to this book. Um, this week's subjects uh, are, or the whole concept of is, I can see clearly. Uh, the first topic is overcoming obstacles. So a husband came through to his wife and in his life, he made a lot of money, but he made a lot of money by cheating other people out of money. So he didn't really make it. He, he just, he kind of, he wasn't a, the greatest guy when he made his money um, because he was really tied into the material world. He just wanted to make more and more so he could buy more and more and more stuff. And so when he came through, he was trying to tell his wife, you know, I cheated other people. I realize now that I have crossed over, that I have learned my lessons, and that that wasn't really the best thing to do. And I want you to take that money and I want you to start, start a charity or start donating it or getting rid of it because it's not, it wasn't, it didn't come from pure love and intentions. It came out of fear and uh, materialistic wants. So I want you to, to get, get, get away from it, get, you know, let it go, let it go, let it go. Um, so James talks about lack of self-esteem. So lack of self-esteem is one of the biggest obstacles to overcome that spending money on material things will not make you feel whole again. It won't make you, it won't replace anybody and it won't, it won't bring in love. Um, self-esteem is the difference between success and failure. And if you have high self-esteem, you value yourself as worthy and you feel that you can accomplish your desires and your dreams. But if you have a low self-esteem, you place low value on yourself and you devalue you as a person. So taking the high road. An open mind is an open heart. So a mother came through, no, a mother was going to get a reading and her son came through. No, I have this all wrong. I'm so sorry. Let's start again. <laughs> a mother has come through to give her son a message. And the mother um, was holding a grudge all the way up until she passed and against her sister. And what she wanted to tell her son was, I, I was wrong. I, I was wrong. I should not have, um, I should not have kept this grudge so long. And I, please, please go tell my sister that, uh, please have her forgive me and make amends with her and get back with your family because that is the most important things to be around family and tell her that I was wrong and I made a huge mistake and because she needed to learn, the mother who had crossed over needed to learn that lesson and until that family was back together, she wasn't gonna learn that lesson on the other side. She needed all of her family to be back together in order for her to move up in the spirit world. So we can all transform ourselves. Beautiful things can happen when we apologize and we forgive and we take that high road. That's when the true healing begins. That's when it starts. When we release, when we forgive, when we can walk forward. We start by taking that high road today. Open the door for someone. Pay for someone's coffee. Th give thank yous to the waiter who's serving or waitresses who are serving you. These small acts of kindness can go a long way during someone else's day. I love to hold the door open for someone. I love to help someone if I can. It makes me feel good inside to say I held that door and they had a whole bunch of packages and it helped them get through the door and they were on their way. It just makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm these small little things that I'm doing, or even if I just go around and I smile at people and I just smile at them and it makes their day. We don't know what other people are going through in their lives. We've never worn their shoes. We don't know. Just smile. And it really, it really will, you know, pass that vibration on to them. Um, okay, so another topic that James wants to talk about is clarity of consciousness. Consciousness is our hope. It's our faith and our love. It all 
that's what it's all about. And once we arrive at this realization, we no longer are slaves for, to this three-dimensional world. And we o are open to experiencing and receiving new levels of awareness and knowingness. This is the beginning of our transcend transcendence. And we can find this clar clarity through mindfulness. Mindfulness is a way of looking at the larger world and our own particular life with the awareness of the present moment, just being present in the moment, enjoying this moment. As you're watching this video, you're just watching the video. You're not thinking about, oh, I've got to go do the dishes. Oh, I have to go to the store and get this. Oh, I have to go here. And like, you're not thinking about your to-do list, right? You're just enjoying this video and learning something, hopefully. So when we live life from a lack of awareness, the mind and body start, kind of start to go on that autopilot. We just kind of start doing things and we start answering questions based on old beliefs that might not be serving us well. And we just start marching through life, not really paying attention to what's going on because we're not present in the moment. We're just like, here's the answer. Let's go. Let's do the next thing. Okay, here we go. Um, so... When we practice mindfulness, we are constantly reminding ourselves to see through new eyes. Look at it from a new perspective. Don't just answer, like listen. Think about your answer and then answer. Or say, you know what, I, I'm not sure I understand that, but you know, I want to do some more research and understand what it is you're talking about before I give you an answer on that. Um, so in conclusion, material things will not bring us happiness or clarity, um, taking the high road of forgiveness not only helps us to heal, but it may help others, uh, our other loved ones on the other side, heal as well. And last but not least, at issues, look at issues with a new perspective. See through a different lens. Try on different glasses and see how that works and see how that feels if you just take a minute to gather your thoughts and come from a loving place and answer with a loving heart. It may just change some things for you. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to connect with your loved ones through a reading with me, I would be very excited to do that with you. Just head on over to my website, stephanieleemedium.com and book a session with me. Okay, I'll see you next week.